Hello Sealets and welcome into a new video. In today's video we are talking about enclosed libel. On this particular vessel we have two libel on each side of the vessel, which are located next to accommodation block. Below each libel you can find operational instructions for libel, which are telling you each part, launching and recovery procedure. An electric motor mounted on the winch is used to hoist the libel. Safety devices automatically cut off the power before the David arms reach the stops. The winch is equipped with the centrifugal brake, manual lowering brake, non-return clutch and manual hoisting handle. The falls can be manually wound out. The libels are molded from fiber reinforced plastic and fire retendant risins. Longitudinal fiber reinforced plastic side buoyancy tanks are provided in the hull and are filled with polyurethane buoyancy foam, which provide the craft enough buoyancy to remain afloat and upright. During drill we are using this handle for manual lowering and also this is our master station on the port side of the west. Each craft is fitted with two lifting hooks which are designed to be released simultaneously from inside the craft when the hydrostatic interlock unit has been activated to allow hook release as the libel becomes fully water. Sprinkler is used to protect the libel to give an external water spray on the canopy of the boat, providing the outside of the boat with protective layer of water should fire be encountered on the surface of the sea. In case of abandoning ship, we are filling libel with persons from forward to aft. Some of survival equipment that you can find inside is survival guide manual, magnetic compass, sea anchor, Portable water, 3 liter per person, food ration, pyrotechnics, signal torch, whistle, first aid, anti sea sickness tablets, knife, tin openers, engine toolkit, set of fishing tackle, fire extinguisher, radar reflector, rainwater collector, and many more. Two internal 45 liter air cylinders are installed which provide the passengers and engine with air at controlled rate for at least 10 minutes. During this time the pressure inside the boat should not fall below the outside atmospheric pressure. The air cylinders are pressurized to 200 bar and should be topped up if the pressure drops to less than 190 bar. The steering position is arranged in the way that we have an adequate view forward, aft and on both sides for safe launching and maneuvering. The steering system is operated by a push-pull arrangement controlled by a steering wheel at the helmsman position. Should the remote control steering fail, the boat is fitted with an emergency tiller arm. At the helmsman right side there is a most important thing and that is emergency release for the hooks which can be operated only when the live boat is waterborne. This boat is fitted with hydrostatic interlock which is safety device that prevents the hook release lever from being operated until the live boat is waterborne. The turbocharged diesel engine with 30 horsepower is capable to reach speed of 6 knots. Engine can be started with the batteries or manual, and it is connected with the sprinkler pump. On the following pictures we will share with you more information regarding this specific LIBO. This liveboat is made in Jiangsu, it has 7.5 meters in length and 2.9 meters in beam. 
Weight is 5 tons, including all equipment, inventory and fuel tanks with 200 liters of diesel. You can also see here seating arrangement for 50 persons. On this picture we can see the David that is designed to permit boarding of the lifeboat when it's in stop position. The lifeboat may be lowered without stopping as swinging out and lowering is a continuous movement. The winch brake release lever can be released remotely from inside the lifeboat or alternatively manually from the deck. Davids are capable of swinging out the lifeboats against the list of 20 degrees, with skates fitted to each boat to facilitate this. On these pictures we can see lifeboat hood release and reset. We have a normal release on the first picture, then on the second we have emergency release procedure, and on the last one we have restoring of hooks procedure. All these procedures are posted inside the lifeboat, at master stations, at bridge, at ECR, inside the accommodation and in the life-saving manual. That was a short video about the lifeboat, in this case on LNG ship. Our first video about lifeboat that was uploaded back in 2016 has reached 1 million views and thank you for everyone who already watched that video. If you haven't, please check it up on our channel. That is a lifeboat on LNG vessel that was built back in 1978, if you believe or not. By reading comment on that video, most usual question was where is the toilet? As you saw on this video on previous, there is a no toilet unfortunately for someone's. But you should feel free to open the doors and drop it overboard if you are not scared of shark, of course, or your crew. Thank you for watching, feel free to check our merch, t-shirts, mugs and many more. Feel free to share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Until next video, I wish you a calm sea, keep safe, your sea leg.